This bad boy's about to be released right now. Swim bait. Um, he's all addicted to that right now, so I'm gonna go out here. Hopefully we can catch him. Phantom. I was bullish on you from the start. She likes Chanel, I just like foreign cars. Took her to London to show her the shot. About to be stupid, rich, it won't be long. I just started up and told him go. Be sure to go check this video out. I'll leave the link below. It's the last upload. Go do it now. It's a banger. It's really good. Go watch it. Guys, these shoes are so dope. These are some Adidas's uh, that I actually picked up, I think about, I'd say about a month and a half ago. These things are really comfortable, guys. If you guys are looking for some shoes, definitely cop these Adidas's. Super, 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 super comfort, comfortable. I can show you guys, hold on, give me a second. These are the ones I actually usually wear, but these things are not nearly as light and comfortable as these. These things are freaking sick, guys. Doesn't hurt my feet. Going all day. They feel super good. They look super clean. I would check them out. Can we just take a moment and realize how tan I am? Look, look, look at this. This is stupid. I'm telling you, the Red River just absolutely. I don't know if I look so tan because of my white shoes, but I'm literally this tan. And here, hold on. I know I showed you in the last vlog, but let's just. Yep. Whole tan line. Got the kicks on. I actually just washed these because they're freaking white. Look at look at that. I had to wash these things. They're still like ruined. But guys, if you're looking for some shoes, I'm serious. These things are super, super, super comfortable. These old Adidas's. So when I was actually sitting there filming me put on put on my shoes, I was at the Red River last week. As you guys know, I always talk about this. I told you I'm gonna stop talking about it, but I promise you. That term is gonna be gone, long gone here soon. So I sit down on that bench right there to put my shoes on and I like lean back to put my foot up and I swear guys, I know this sounds stupid, I swear I like broke my butt. Like I swear I broke my tailbone or something. I'm serious, like I like bruised my, like something wrong with my lower back and like my tailbone just kills me. Like I just kinda like creep back. Yesterday when we were fishing, I sat down on the ground because I was on the phone with someone. I had to sit down real quick, tie my shoe. And when I sat down, I like felt, I was like, oh, I don't know, it's something. I damaged something bad. And when we were at the Red River, what had happened was we couldn't fit through this little slough. And there was this tree branch. I was about to scratch my boat. So like I took my foot and I was like trying to kick it. And when I was trying to kick it, like I went down on it probably like five times. And the last time I was like, all right, I'm going to give it my all. I just went down and went, whoopa, and literally my foot slipped, <laughs> and half my body went into the water. I'm not even kidding, like, all the way up here to my shorts, and, like, I didn't want to fall all the way in, so I fell back, and I, like, tumbled over the back seat, and, like, the, the compartment, one of those little, when you open the compartment, there's, like, a little metal piece. I, like, went, pow, slapped down right on that thing, and I, like, broke my butt. I'm pretty serious. It's been over a week. I'm pretty sure I broke my butt. So guys, today what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be running some errands. thought I'd just take you guys along with me since it's the third summer and I filmed the past two days so I'm going to continue to keep filming. That doesn't mean I'm going to be uploading every day. I'm still going to stick to the schedule Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, but I can actually make some videos in advance and prep because once I get down in school, it's just so hectic, so hard to get videos out, especially like the cool ideas I actually want to do. Um, that's when it's just super hard and when I'm in school, it's just so much time that I can't really spend on kicking and filming videos. And that's why I actually want to prep videos and like film as much as possible this summer. Like if I could film every day, I totally would. And that's what I would do. 
So if you guys were wondering, a little bit of so if you guys are wondering what we are doing right now, we're actually going to Bass Pro. Bass Pro. <laughs> Bass Pro. That's a funny story, no? No, we're not going to Bass Pro. We're actually going to Best Buy, and I'm going to pick up a little tripod for my iPhone since I pretty much film everything on my iPhone. So we're gonna go do that right now, and let's go. I probably just did the stupidest thing I've ever done while while filming. So I'm about to pull out of my neighborhood, and I was like, crap, I forgot my phone. Well, I'm recording on my phone the whole time. I didn't even think about it. I was literally saying, I'm going to get a tripod for my phone because all I do is film on my phone. And I thought I left my phone, so I turned around and realized very quick that my phone was with me. And I'm recording on it the whole time. I swear, guys, I'm so used to like filming with a vlog camera or like a standard old, you know, uh, like my Sony or my Canon that like. I literally thought I left my phone. I was gonna turn around, but I turned around and realized real quick. So we're back on the road. We're heading to Best Buy. I was bullish on you from the start. She likes Chanel, I just like foreign cars. Took her to London to show her the shot. About to be stupid, rich, it won't be long. I just started up and told him go. I'm stuck in traffic. Probably not. It looks like there's a wreck that we're driving by up here. And of course, every single person has to stop and look at it. Even the people in this lane for no apparent reason. There's usually not traffic in this, this side of the highway, but today there is. I just started up and told him go. How the hell you sleeping? You ain't woke. Girl, I tell you everything you know. All my girls from Burlington or front of Grove Louis Vuitton, I don't wanna talk Made it the Best Buy That's probably the quickest I've ever been in the Best Buy I Walked in, literally grabbed it, paid for it, walked out Boom, got this little one right here I bought it. I bought this one. It's pretty inexpensive. It's a smaller one. I was gonna buy the bigger one, but honestly, with how my phone's been acting and how bad it is, I can barely even film. Like the lighting and everything's horrible too. It's just I gotta get this fixed before I invest any more money into filming with this full time. Because if it's gonna keep acting like this, or I can't get my phone fixed, or something happens, I'm not gonna be filming with it here shortly. I'm probably gonna be switching back over to my vlog camera. This is a last second decision, guys. But when I'm leaving Best Buy. I forgot there's this place called Computer Advantage right across the street. I don't know if it's any good or not. You know, I've never really been there. But I want to see if they can check out my phone. I believe they do. I, I They do, like, pretty much everything. All all the geeky, high-tech stuff they do. So, I'm a, honestly, with how bad this thing's been pissing me off, I'm going to handle this right now. So, I walked in there for about five <laughs> minutes, handed the guy my phone. And, of course, right when I hand him my phone, it decides to work perfectly fine. Well... He started to mess around with it for a second and he was like, oh yeah, I see, I see what it's doing. And it wasn't even doing much when he was holding it like how it's been. And uh, he just says my screen, you can replace the screen monitor or whatever it is. So he said he can't do it today. He said I could probably come back tomorrow because it's going to take a good bit of time and get it done. And I'm probably going to honestly do that because when I went to App Store, they didn't do anything. I went there, he told me right away. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and hopefully get this thing fixed. So I just rigged this thing up while I was driving and honestly... Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Tiny. This is perfect, literally, for an iPhone. This is a lot better than me holding it by hand. I don't even know if you guys can tell the difference. Obviously, I can. It's like one of those tripods that I actually used to use uh, for some of my vlog cameras. It's so much better. It's honestly a lot, a lot easier to keep this thing stable. I just started up and told him go. How the hell you sleeping? You ain't woke. Girl, I tell you everything you know. Um, hitting you guys up with the next day because I ended up not filming. I want to keep this video relevant and I want to add this same content to this video. So this is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to the store right now. I actually woke up. <laughs> so last night I actually ended up staying up till six in the morning. Now let me explain why. I stayed up till six because last night I was at the gym pretty late. I'd say 11 o'clock. I believe I went around 11 o'clock. I want to say 11 o'clock I was at the gym. I actually had a shoulder injury. So I was, as I was benching, 
which this is why I don't bench anymore. I was benching. I only had a plate on each side. That's what I warm up with. That's what I finish with. That's all I bench with because I've hurt my shoulder multiple times before. So I just bench with a plate if I bench. Um, most of the time I don't bench, I usually use free weights. So I put it on the bar. First set, I did a set of like, like 35 to 40 reps with, with a plate. Um, I was feeling fine. Hop back on for the second set. Went down the first time, it was fine. Went down the second time, it was fine. And the third time I went down, I felt a pop. Well, right on that point, I shot it up real quick and I racked it. And I just killed my shoulder. I don't know what I did. It's been killing me. Um, last night, it was honestly to the point when I got home from the gym where I couldn't really even move it. Um, it was really irritating. It was killing me. Um, it's just driving me crazy wherever. I couldn't even like lay my arm down because it was just really killing me. So I'm hoping I didn't really hurt anything. I tried to finish off my workout in the gym, but I didn't hit chest. I uh, tried to hit some back, but couldn't really do anything. I pretty much experimented with one exercise because that's really all I could do because I was in that much pain. Last night, I ended up researching a lot over YouTube and getting into SEO stuff. And I literally pretty much stayed up from like 12 to 6 in the morning um, researching stuff. One, because I just couldn't fall asleep. My shoulder was killing me. But two, I was just all into it. And once I get in and roll in on stuff, like I could just go forever. And I love working at night. That's like my preference. I usually work at night. And uh, I ended up waking up at 9 this morning. Ended up going to the grocery store and meal prepping for the next couple of days or pretty much two days. Um, I ended up getting some food, cooking then, and now, as I told you guys from yesterday, which is in the same vlog, that I'm going to get my iPhone th fixed, thank God, because this thing is to the point where it's stupid, I don't need to be using it, I just need to go get it fixed, and I found a place in Savannah that can fix it, so that's what we're going to do now. Well, I thought it would be pretty cool to stick my phone out the window since I got this new tripod. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Whoa, it was close. That wind was pushing on my phone. I, I'm telling you, I was about this close, but that phone flying out of my hand. Just remind me, I'm never doing that again. That's, that's the job for the GoPro. My phone already has enough problems. The last thing I need to do while on the way, while on the way to go get my phone fixed is have it shatter out the window. <laughs> that would just, uh, that would put the icing on the cake there. With the wind hitting my phone, it was like zooming in and out. That that was not a bright idea. Well guys, I absolutely came here for nothing. For nothing, I drove all the way out of my way, planned everything around this, planned this yesterday, and came out here for nothing. So supposedly, there's something wrong with the Comcast network or something, and they're not gonna be able to calibrate my screen because of some, I don't know, something weird. They said they had to turn out a bunch of people today. They turned out two people ahead of me. I respect Apple. I think they're a heck of a brand. I think it's the big, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's one of the smartest brands out there. They're killing the game. They're doing their thing. I really love their products. But geez, man, come on now. I've literally tried for the past two months to get my iPhone fixed and everyone refuses and says that they can't do anything about it or either avoids the fact that there's something wrong with it, which just seems all sketchy to me. I don't I don't know, this is all just weird. Um, it's very, very weird, but I'm gonna be getting this done, I guess, when I get home in Atlanta because I'm not gonna wait, I'm not gonna come up here. And I, he said just call this number, he's like, if it goes through, then we can do it, so. I don't know. I'm probably just going to wait till I get home to Atlanta and hope that the people at the Apple store can do it. I actually have a buddy that works up there, so maybe he can knock it out. Hey. Yeah, of course. I appreciate it. Yeah, you have a good one. Yep. So yesterday, I actually saw um, this homeless lady walking right here, and uh, I just decided to help her out. I gave her, gave her $5. I'm, you know... Honestly, every single time I see somebody that, you know, whether they're homeless or needs help, whatever it is, you know, I try to try to help them out as best as I can because I'm going to be honest with you guys, whether they're really, I know a lot of people talk about, you know, most of those people aren't homeless or most of those people aren't injured or most, and honestly, it's not even about that. It's the fact that, you know, if that person might not be homeless, either way, they're gonna they're gonna use those five dollars that five dollars that I gave them. But they're gonna need it more than me, and so like that's just how I, I try to take take those things into account and how I, how I think about them is you know they're gonna use that money 
obviously better than I would and uh, hopefully it'll really help him out and hopefully she'll go buy food with it. Yo, so we're back at the house. I really wanted to show you guys this boat. This is like the main purpose of this vlog. I have been vlogging all over the place, but guess what? It's time for me to show you guys the main purpose of this vlog. So this is what we're gonna do right now, guys. I got my cover on my boat right now, obviously, because the sun and it has been raining recently. And uh, I'm gonna start showing you guys some of the stuff on the boat that I actually destroyed at the Red River. Probably the most dangerous place I have ever been to. Not gonna lie, guys, it, I'm serious. It's probably, probably the most dangerous river slash lake I've ever been to. If you love your boat, I suggest you don't go there. And I, honestly, I suggest you don't go there at all. Just take my advice, even if you have an event there. I just would not go there, it's not worth it. But let's show you the boat. So to start off, I kinda wanna show you guys some of the raft damage, which kinda sucks. There's a lot, honestly, a good bit of raft damage. Uh, I'm not gonna show you at all because honestly, it's pretty spread all over the place. I don't even know what happened right there. Uh, right here, as you can tell, just from hitting all these trees. Look at this. Golly, that is no good right there. This side's honestly really not that bad. Had that on there. Um, the side of the boat, just from tree branches and hitting, it cut some right over here. Um, also, oh yeah, look at that. See all that? Boom, boom, all the scratches. Look at that right there, that's a big scratch. Slice right through, all the way down to the back. Knock one of my teeth, one of my, one of my kicking teeth out. Uh, all under the boats, destroyed. Let me show you this side. Sorry about that guys, my phone's just freaking out. So like I said, right down the side, pretty much as you can tell, it's just scraped all the way down the side. This is actually one of the moments of when I like fell in the water because I was trying to pick a tree branch to scratch my wrap. Dug deep down, as you can tell, all the way to the fiber, all the way to the main paint job on the boat, um, all right here, where else? I mean, it's all the way down the boat, guys. Absolutely just, this is probably the only area right here by my driver's seat because I can obviously push stuff off easier. Just a little nick right there. But that is pretty much the nicks on the wrap. Uh, there's a lot more underneath that I would show you guys, but it's gonna be hard for me to get under there. And all the branches just pretty much scrub the bottom of my boat, which I'm not too concerned about. Like it just leaves little marks like that. Um, but rather than that, it's just the wrap stuff. Now let me show you the trolling motor, if I can. When we were driving, I actually broke a strap on the trip and this whole wrap gets sucked into it. Here, let me, let me try to figure this out. There we go. Oh yeah. Right here is where it really gets crazy. Front of the boat, there's some more wrap damage. Whole transducer broke off, whole bracket bent. Um, obviously this side of the boat's absolutely destroyed. All the wires, I had to shove the transducer right here and actually zip tie it because I didn't really want to cut it off the wire um, right off the bat, so I was gonna fix it. And blade, just a little. As, and note that this is, this is a brand new trolling motor. Um, scratch this on the top a little bit. This right here, actually lost the whole bracket, the whole boat, uh, bolt to that on um, the nut on the other side. Gotta get that, gotta order a new part. Just scratched up this thing in general. And lastly, what I would like to show you guys, which is honestly, it, it is honestly amazing how this did not get messed up. Out of all that, everything getting messed up on the boat, the one thing I would think would get messed up is actually the prop. And honestly, it's pretty good. Except for this right here. That's the slight, I don't know if you guys can tell, right there. But rather than that, I am very impressed that I didn't destroy my prop. Rub the bottom a little bit on some rocks, but rather than that, I mean, that is about it. The boat is absolutely filthy. Um, there's another spot on the wrap. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this one. I think that, I wanted to say it had part to do with my strap, but at the same time, I don't. Um, I wanna say that was from a stump because of that as well. That is everything on the boat, guys. Things absolutely just in a mess right now. Not only is it dirty, but just destroyed the wrap, destroyed everything. Got some big things coming up, so that doesn't even really matter. 
because this summer guys is gonna be insane. There's a bunch of new things coming that I'm very, very, very pumped and excited to tell you guys and show you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you guys like this vlog, I know it's kind of all over the place and uh, the main purpose was to show my boat, but I did want to document pretty much the whole day and uh, how dark is this thing? But I did actually want to document the whole day uh, or yesterday as well. It's pretty much was supposed to be yesterday's vlog. I just ended up not finishing it. But I wanted to document pretty much a day in the lifestyle video. If you guys want to see more of these, you guys know what to do. Be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to com comment below on what type of videos you guys want to see next. Because I do post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So make sure you turn on those post notifications and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Be sure to share a video with your friends. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you all in the next video. I was bullish on you from the start. She like Chanel, I just like foreign cars Took her to London to show her the shot About to be stupid rich, it won't be long I just started up and told him go How the hell you sleeping, you ain't walking